just want to raise awareness that uh, that uh, there is a, a foothold of baseball in Italy, and um, you know it's tough because uh, uh, to compete in, in Europe against uh, you know the culture there. Obviously, there's cultural differences, but but baseball slowly is starting to grow in popularity, uh, and we just want to keep that movement going. Our idea is to try to get Italian Americans involved in the Italian baseball and to raise funds for the uh, Baseball Academy in Pisa, Italy. The Italian American baseball players legacy started very many years ago. I was growing up reading about the great Yogi Berras and Phil Rizzuto, uh, Joe DiMaggio, so many guys. In more recent days, Mike, Frankie, I think you guys are picking up the baton that you got to carry and pass it on to future generations. We have a great, great, uh, great history of Italian Americans, and uh, I think they'd be very proud to see the guys here representing uh, Italian Americans and uh, trying to bring Italian baseball up to the forefront and uh, make it a better game for, for the team Italy. I've been able to, to see since 2006 when I first started playing uh, for Team Italy in the World Baseball Classic, I've been able to see from, from then to now how much baseball has grown in Italy. And to watch these guys and, and watch how they've progressed over the years, it, it, it's awesome. The general expectation, I would say, is to be as competitive as possible as we did throughout the, the, the three classics uh, we've been playing in. You see more Italian players in, in major league now or minor leagues, but they play in professional baseball, so that means something is, is, is going the, in, the, in the right direction. We sneak up on people. I don't think we're going to sneak up on people anymore, though, so we got to be, uh, we gotta be on, uh, on our game. We're not just here as a, as a goodwill cause. You know, we, we have a lot of uh, great players, and you know, we're here to, uh, to compete and, and to win the whole thing.